Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting Animal Crossing tips and tricks tutorial video. Today's video is showcasing everything you need to know about the brand new fall items within the game, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to farm those crafting items within. It's going to be a very fun one and an action-packed video, so thanks so much for coming on board as a subscriber. We're on our quest to 1 million subscribers, so let's do it. Shout outs to all of you guys that are on board with subscribing already, thank you. All right, other than that, please definitely take a look at the couple playlists that we have on screen over here. The top playlist is going to be exactly about some tips and tricks tutorials, just like the one you're watching over here. So tons on top of that. And in case you guys didn't already see, for the month of September, we've got the full ultimate bugs, fish, and sea creatures guide for you. So make sure you give this one a little bit of love. Anyway, let's jump into the video. As usual, we respect your time, so feel free to navigate the video by taking a look at the timestamps on screen, and you can use the description or the navbar chapters in order to seek to a particular section. So before we get started, let's define exactly when the fall or autumn season is. Now, if you guys are in the Northern Hemisphere, by all means, you'll be able to find all of these items and DIYs within September 1st all the way through December 10th. Now that's a long time, so there's really no rush to get all this stuff. Those of you guys in the Southern Hemisphere, you guys have already experienced this, which congratulations if you have everything by that time. But anyway, the autumn season for the Southern Hemisphere is from the March 1st date all the way over to June 10th. So keep that in mind, get all your stuff at your convenience. Now let's talk about exactly how you're going to get your hands on every single one of these brand new DIY recipes. It's very simple, and if you've been playing Animal Crossing for a while, you now know exactly this, but we're gonna cover it just in case. So Tree's Bounty Little Tree is an example of one of the 11. Now all you really have to do is make sure that you have a slingshot equipped well, whether it be inside your pockets or somewhere on the ground in your area, and then just pretty much press the camera upwards so that you can see all the different balloons that pass by. They pass by in intervals of time, and it's really all about patience. So go out there, do your thing, and then press the A button, and you'll be able to fire off a little shot from your slingshot, and hopefully the DIY recipe will come out. Likewise, if you take a look at your beaches over here, you'll be able to find a message bottle on the ground. And then of course, once you have your message bottle out here, there's a DIY recipe inside. If you're lucky, it'll be one of the exclusive ones. But in my case, it really wasn't. So keep on trying. And of course, if you guys are traditional players and they seldomly wash up maybe once a day or so, um, but of course, if you're a custom player, then you know transport to the next day and then keep on trying to get even more of those uh, different DIY recipes. So now that you guys know exactly how to get every single one of these different recipes through balloons and or messages in bottles, now let's talk about the crafting materials needed for them. And as you guys can see when we're scrolling through all these, some materials are relatively exclusive towards the autumn season. And we'll see that they are none other than the acorns and the pine cones available. Acorns and pine cones are going to be able to be shaken off of various trees within your town. If you guys don't know exactly how to get trees in the game, you can either throw a piece of fruit under the ground, or you can come over here and then you can buy cedar saplings, where the cedar saplings are exclusively giving you the pine cones. And then of course you can also grab the hardwood trees, which are the regular saplings, which will give you regular acorns. So that's it. All you have to do is shake those trees and you'll be able to get all those. So I'll show you guys exactly what I did in my town in order to pretty much farm as many of the acorns and pine cones as possible. It's super simple and uh, you can shake a tree for a really, really long time. So I made a whole little spot over here, just making sure that the trees have enough breathing room for things to actually drop next to them. And within two shakes, I'm able to get a pine cone just like that. It's very simple. Right over here is gonna be the exact same thing. You'll get some branches and then right over here is our acorn. And then that's really all you have to do is just keep on shaking. You can get dozens of them just by shaking a tree. And you'll also collect a whole bunch of branches. You might get an item and you might get stung by wasps. I don't know. But if you do feel like some of these trees aren't really giving you anything, then you can soft reset the area by going into town hall, going in, and then coming right back out, and then keep on shaking. That's really it. You'll get dozens of them that way, trust me. So now that you guys know exactly how to get the DIY recipes and how to get all of the crafting materials needed to make them, let's show them all off, shall we? All right, here we go. The first thing is going to be the tree's bounty arch. 
Now this thing looks really great. It's got a bunch of different uh, acorns, pine cones, looks like berries and maple leaves on it. So very cool, in case you wanted to make a little archway in front of your town to show that you love the autumn season. Next up, right over here, you can see on screen, it's none other than the Trees Bounty Big Tree. So it's a big tree and you can see all sorts of different items on there, buttons, acorns, pine cones, maple leaves, all that stuff. Whitney, can you please leave? You are totally in my shot. Okay, anyway, moving on, Whitney. Next up is going to be the Trees Bounty Little Tree. Oh, look at how tiny it is. It's a little baby version of the larger tree. So looks really nice. All right, next over here is going to be the Leaf Campfire. Now this thing is actually on fire and that's really cool. So in case you like uh, having a little dungeony area inside your house or outside of your house, you can actually make fire happen. Very fun. All right, next up is going to be the yellow leaf pile. The yellow leaf pile looks exactly like the leaf piles that we've seen before, and it's just yellow. And you can kind of run through it if you really want to, and it kind of is animated in that aspect. So, all right, kind of fun. We've seen it already. And just in case you haven't seen it already, we have a pile of leaves, which is going to be the darker color because the change of the seasons. So, whatever one you want, you got the yellow one or you have the brown leaf pile. All right, next up, moving on down this way, is none other than the pine bonsai tree. Now this thing looks really cool. I've seen bonsai trees in real life at a, uh, at a little outdoor nature area, and these are really interesting. Bonsai trees can be over 100 years old and passed down from generations to generations. So that being said, enjoy it while it's here. All right, next up is going to be the tree's bounty lamp. You can see that the Trees Bounty lamp kind of lights up over here. Uh, not that much, but on the outside. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside of my house a little bit later. But it's a fun little lamp and it, uh, it has some very colored fruits on it. Interesting. All right, next over here is going to be the balancing toy. I'll stand right behind it so that you guys can see. If you press the A button on it, it just wobbles left and right. And it looks like a little man made out of acorns. So cute. All right, next we have the pochette which is going to be a little acorn side bag that you can absolutely look like a boss with. And what do you know, is that a monarch butterfly? I had a hard time finding those. Interesting, I have no flowers near me. All right, next up, last but not least, I can't really show it on the screen, but this is going to be the Trees Bounty Mobile. And the Trees Bounty Mobile will be shown in the house once we get all this stuff and we make a brand new area. So with that being said, I'm gonna grab all these items and we're going to put them all inside my house and show you guys what it looks like. Give you guys some design ideas, it'd be really fun. So before I give you the showcase of what it looks like inside the house, we do have to cover the customization options. Now there, um, I was very happy about this when I looked and saw exactly how many are on there. So Leaf Campfire, the Trees Bounty Little Tree, the Trees Bounty Big Tree, the Trees Bounty Arch, the Trees Bounty Mobile, and the Trees Bounty Lamp are all customizable. This is just a log bench that I have, but anyway, so let's take a look at them, shall we? Okay, so this one is, uh, oh my gosh, roasting marshmallows? Are you crazy? Why wouldn't you do that? That's so cool. Oh my gosh, roasting marshmallows customization. My goodness, that's awesome. Okay, very excited for that. Gelatin-free marshmallows, am I right? So this is the nut color. <laughs> oh man. You got brown nuts or white nuts? Yep. Those are absolutely what they are. Okay. Let's move on to Tree's Bounty Big Tree. Oh man, you got another choice of brown nuts or white nuts. Okay. Great, great. Good job, game. Tree's Bounty Arch is also a nut coloration. Interesting. So you can make it a little bit whiter or you can make it a little bit browner uh hey this is the same thing right over here you can change the coloration of it so if you like the white coloration go for it and then last but not least we have the tree bounty lamp and the oh wow it looks oh man those white <laughs> i can't say this with a straight face that looks really cool looks really great good job anyway let's go inside the house and i'll show you guys exactly what this is going to look like all right, so here we are, the big reveal 
of all of the items within the house. Feel free to use the design ideas whenever you guys come across them, but I'm ready for it. Now, you'll notice right off the bat that the biggest thing that walks out and looks out to you is the flooring and the wallpaper. Now, this is going to be the autumn flooring and the autumn wallpaper, which is gonna be a little bit available in the month of October, but we went ahead and got them anyway. So, it looks really good. Uh, you can see over here that the leaf piles are absolutely animated. We can see that, that looks great. Here's the big archway, looks really, really fun as we've seen it before on the outside. I kind of sprinkled some acorns and some pine cones all the way around the area. And I wanted to make the center focal point a little bit of the campfire here. We can see that the campfire is on board along with the, uh, the little wooden log bench. Cause I figured, you know what, hey, when you're gonna go out into the wild, you might as well sit on a wooden bench and then cook up some acorns, right? Cause that's what you do when you go camping. I don't know. We'll also see over here that this is the uh, the little wobbly toy guy. That's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's got its own little face, the traditional balancing toy. Really cool face. Uh, right over here is going to be the light. I'll show you guys what the area looks like without the lights on so we can actually understand and appreciate that really cool light over that way. And then uh, right over this way is the mobile. I mentioned that earlier, but it was a little leaf because you can't really do anything with a wall mounted item on the outside of your house. But this is what it looks like. It has a lot of the assets of the big tree and little tree, uh, which are going to be found right over here in this corner, which I just kind of threw in the corner there. Looks pretty great. Looks like a big old Christmas tree or festive tree, whatever you want to call it. But you can see the little details on them uh, even further with the different maple leaves and etc. And then one of the last items over here was uh, definitely the uh, the little bonsai. I had a little wooden log and I wanted to raise it up because these bonsais are very, very old and should be revered with such respect to not throw it on the floor. So anyway, uh, you'll see the pochette over there too. So yeah, this is the entire room. Looks pretty great. I like it a lot. Let's turn out the lights and we'll see what the campfire looks like. Uh, turning off the lights by pressing the up on the D-pad, not the down on the D-pad. Boom, right here. Wow, look at that. Okay, so this actually looks really nice. So let me see if I can, can I even sit down over here? I probably can't sit down over there, but that's okay. All right, this looks really good. And I like the light. Uh, I like the light a lot. So you can see this over here that this is just the, the eerie luminescence of it. And you can see the fire as well. Oh, the fire looks really cool. If you wanted to make like a little magma floor and you have these little burning piles of fire, that's cool. We need more items like that, absolutely. So yeah, I like this, I like this a lot. So anyway guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little room showcase and I can't wait to see what kind of ideas you guys put on board. So feel free, if you guys have a full on room set for the brand new items, I would love to see it. Make sure that you guys give me a little 30 second screen cap on Twitter, at Abdallah Nation, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much for being here. If you guys didn't already hit that subscribe button, please do so. It only takes one quick second in order to join us. And we're trying to get 1 million subscribers by the end of 2020. It's a lofty goal, but I know you'll help out with it. So turn on notifications so you guys don't miss a beat on the latest and greatest Animal Crossing content on YouTube. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.